Hey everybody, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to snell two hooks to assemble what I call my plane rig. My plane rig is actually a night crawler harness that I use to catch a bunch of walleyes on summer guide trips and TV filming trips as well during the summer and into the fall. So what it starts with is a 42 inch fluorocarbon length of line. I like 10 pound P-line tactical line. Again, about 42 inches, 10 pound line. The back hook, which actually is the trailer hook, gets snelled first. This is a number four, just octopus style live bait hook. What I do is I take the line and thread the line through that hook eye, all right? Pull some tag and actually pinch the tag up against the hook shaft. And what I'll do is I'll take the line and I'll wrap it around the hook shank about seven times hold that line in that hook tight in one hand. In the other hand, I grab the main line, and this time, coming from the bottom up, I thread the line, bottom up, and pull it good and tight. And what I've done now is I've snelled the back hook. Now before I'd fish, I'd take a nail clipper or scissors and clip that tag. But the back hook, the trailer hook is snelled. Now, to snell the lead hook, this is a number four super glow orange attractor hook. Again, size number four. And what I'll do is on this hook, rather than top down, it's bottom up. So line comes from the bottom of the hook eye up. Again, pull it through. Leave about three inches between the two hooks. Again, pinch the tag or the line against the hook shank. And again, Take the main line, wrap it seven times, pinch the hook in the line in that hand, main line in the other hand, from the bottom up, pull it nice and tight, and you have now snelled two hooks for our crawler harness. We are ready to fish. If this were my night crawler, I'd take the lead hook and go right in the head and pinch it out the side. Leave some slack in the line because that crawler is going to expand. Go back a couple inches and just body hook the crawler and we're ready to go. I fish this rig behind a heavy, this is a two ounce bottom bouncer. And if you take a look at it, I've actually clipped the snap off the swivel. The less hardware, the better. This is a pretty sensitive rig, particularly when you get rid of a bunch of hardware. So I take off the snap, tie the end of the snell directly into the swivel, main line goes in the R bend, and I'm ready to fish. I fish it on bait casting tackle. This is a Mach 2 combo from Lou's, all right? This is a medium heavy power, medium heavy power, but a moderate action. So it's got backbone, but it's got a little bit of give, so I can actually, I pull this about eight tenths of a mile an hour. When a walleye hits, I just slowly drift the tip back to the fish, but that moderate action allows that fish to eat its way up the crawler and hook itself. In addition, the reel's got a really good drag. This has been really, really successful, a big part of this system the last couple years. So that's how to rig the plane rig. Again, a super walleye producer in the summer. It works into the fall as well. Snelling two hooks on the plane rig. 